we were never allowed to actually go in the funhouse and jump in the ball pond and slide down the slides while any kids were in the studio watching us because it had to be left as sort of the imagination that it was for children and it was wow look at that but if they saw adults in it it would look odd. Every kid who applied to be on the show uh, when we'd say to them why do you want to be on the show they wanted to drive the go-karts that, you know, that was a thing that seemed to stick in their minds and get them much more excited uh, than anything else. This will take you into the fun house, go! I think one of my funniest memories is being run over by one of the go-karts. This kid was really enthusiastic getting for the finish line and I was standing there with the flag waiting to go like this with the chequered flag and he just kept on going and I went and he hit me and smashed my legs into the side and uh, really quite hurt. Uh, and he would, all he was interested in was the fact that he would got over the line first and got the most points. So I was in agony trying to give out the scores going, well done to the bridge. So uh, that was fun, but uh, you know, those were the days where you just got on with it, even if you'd been run over on your own show. I remember once being in the building on a Saturday, and I went into the studio, uh, I can't remember why, for some reason, and parents, uh, staff who worked at STV, there was about 10 members of staff in the studio, and they'd brought their kids into the studio on a Saturday afternoon so they could uh, have a run through the funhouse. Eventually we had to put security on the studio because what we would find is that uh, on, on, in the downtime or days when we weren't in there, uh, members of uh, the studio crew uh, or other people who worked in the, uh, the studios in Glasgow would sneak into the studio and go on a fun run. I can distinctly remember one kid who the twins had wound up to say, have a go at his hair, have a go at Pat's hair. When he, when he talks to you, like, mention his hair. And this kid would not leave it alone. So every time I asked him a question, I can't remember his name, but I kept saying, like, OK, so here's your question. He would go, what are you doing with that hair? What's your hair like that for? And uh, as you can see, he was right. The child I remember, again, I don't remember his name. I feel really bad. But he didn't want to get gunged. Yeah. He just did not want to get gunged. Oh, and what did you do? I gunged him on the yeah. counter. Because <laughs> he was like, I don't want to get gunged. I went, but you're on fun house. You know, you're here to have fun and get messy and stuff, win prizes. Yeah. I don't want to get gunged. So as we were counting to three, like, um, I got the gunge and just threw it in his face because he, he did annoy me a little bit. <laughs> Should I say that? Oops. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we had to stop after every single game uh, to, to clean up the mess. They had two cleaners in the whole building who would come in with a couple of mops and they would go, oh, it's you again making all that mess. And they'd have to clean up with their two mops. It was very old fashioned, there was no industrial cleaner and um, it would take them about an hour and a half between each game to clear up and they thought that we were just like a, a TV show that was just really inconsiderate and just making a mess with our drinks and they couldn't understand why there was such a mess after every game. They didn't realise that that was what the show was all about. You're meant to be like the chili, the really cool. cool one. And then you hit me slip once. up. Doosh. Yeah, you slip up on the gunge, that's quite, and I have done that before, really proper. And you have to get up and go, <laughs> Ow. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, you know, you would give uh, some kind of score that was completely irrelevant and somebody would say to you, like, no, we just got to do it again. Because remember, there was no auto cue for the whole show, for any series. Everything was done off cuff. You, everything I said, all the explanations of the games, there were no earpieces, there was nothing. You just were out there. They said, this is the game. Do you understand it? And I went, yeah. They go, go ahead, present it. So that was the way we did it. And that was the way it was always done. But if you hear the old... <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have had that breakfast this morning. Too many bran flakes. So there were lots of fun things where things were, were said wrong because obviously there was no water cue. But still, it was much more natural than things are today where everything's water cue pretty, pretty much, isn't it? Yes, it is. See over.